Point shoes come in a bag. They look all pretty like you think they should look. Kind of like that pretty pink satin and you know they look like a little work of art. And then the dancers get them and we just ruin them basically. <laughs> um, each dancer is individual as to what they like but starts by sewing on ribbons and then usually there's a little bit of bashing here and there to make them softer in certain places and all sorts of little tricks that we have. Well, every dancer likes a different degree of softness or hardness to their shoes and it's extremely individual. Um, so, and, and also, depending on the shape of your foot and how you stand on point, they all break in differently. So you can't really get a shoe that's like pre-broken in. <laughs> When they come, there's a certain amount of glue in them, so it's kind of hard. And if you have any kind of bunions or blisters or that kind of thing, it's nice to soften them up a little bit so you don't get so much friction. The breaking in process, which is bending the shoe and snapping the, sh the sole, which is called the shank, out of the shoe to make sure that it's pliable on my foot. Ballet is also a silent art form, so you don't want to sound like a herd of elephants running around the stage. So it's really important that we bang our shoes so that they're not too loud because they come extremely hard. Um, so the bottom of the shoe oftentimes will bang them um, or use a hammer to hammer the, the toe so that it's not, um, so that you don't hear us while we're, while we're dancing. I cut the shank and then I usually slice it with an X-Acto knife and bang the end of it so they're really soft. I guess that's maybe one weird thing. Um, I sew ribbons and elastics, which is pretty normal. But depending on the shoe too, sometimes I have to be crafty. So we're like little, I don't know, craftsmen, ballerinas. <laughs> Some of the dancers use uh, jet glue, which is a new type of, it's almost like a crazy glue. And you just need a really small amount. And it's similar to shellac. So it hardens the shoe almost immediately, just in the spots that you want harder, which seems like a miracle for a lot of dancers. And you can really make your shoes last much longer. For a ballet like Sleeping Beauty, I would probably prepare two or three pairs for one show. So I'd make sure I have you know, my number one pair and then if they get too soft I would switch to an, another pair halfway through the show. Then I would always have a backup ready to go because there's no way you could sew and prepare a pair of shoes during a show. More so for a, a ballet like Sleeping Beauty because it's, um, it's kind of like the most pure classical technique and so it's the most clean, you need to be on point and then you need to be off point. There's no um, softening between the two, it's very exact. It's not really scholastic but exact and pure would probably be the right word so sometimes having a great shoe could really help you out in that situation. Um, also because uh, there's a lot of balances and very technical um, elements in the ballet and so we need to make sure that the shoe not only fits well and is comfortable because it's three hours of dancing, but also that it has a really good block, which is the top of the shoe that we stand on. We're so meticulous about our shoes that most of the auroras, like you'll see in the, in the rehearsal studio before the show, that most of us have like almost 10 pairs lined up across the bar to, to choose from. And, you know, we'll pick like the perfect pair and then, you know, maybe by the half hour call they're not they're not right or you know so it's really really it's for me it's a little bit of superstition but it's also like finding the perfect pair is sort of it's like it's very very important. <laughs> um, I think at first when you have point shoes you know you start as a student and at first it's very very exciting it's like what you've been waiting for and your teacher hasn't let you do it yet and finally you're old enough and your feet are strong enough and at first you're just so excited and then the pain kicks in and you're like, how can I get these things off my feet? <laughs> um, now that I'm professional and my toes have adjusted and I have certain calluses and you know, hardening of my feet that protect me from these shoes, they're more comfortable for me now. I mean, after a long day they can still be painful, but especially as a ballerina, it's one of the biggest perks to be on point. Like it's the aesthetic of our art form and for me, it's easier to dance on point now. I'm more used to it. I'm more comfortable being up on my toes.